Hello and welcome to my channel today. Uh, today I have for you an update on the uh, stick frame workbench. I've made a few changes and fixed a few problems I was having and I thought it was at a point where I should uh, update the uh, the repository and uh, maybe maybe some people will benefit. Um, of course I do have to say that uh, the workbench is very experimental and you'll likely be very frustrated with it. Today's the update I did was I went through and I made sure that none of the tools generated errors at the time of uploading. <laughs> um, not to say that it won't, I won't find new you know ones that I missed or whatnot. And then I also added attachments to everything I possibly could. I think I might have missed this, the collar beam, and I think the stringer because those tools weren't working when I was doing the attachments. But as you can see here, I have uh, arbitrary placements of walls. So let me demo it a little bit more so you can see what I've what I've done here and um, and evaluate for yourself if you'd like to use this tool. So normally um, when you click a tool, it just adds that particular item. So here I have a stud and a plate, and let's you know let's go through all the tools. I have a stud spacer here, which is now in the wrong placement. I see. So I did try to work through some of the placements so that they made more sense. Oh, and I also um, you know tried to. Um, make all the origins, <laughs> turn myself into a liar, give all the or origins uh, some sense sensibility so that the Z was always pointing in Z, and but you can see, I think I, I know I get the Z right, and that the X was always pointing in positive X, but you can see I still have some more work to do. But, uh, oops, and I see floor joist is broken, ceiling joist is not. Don't know why, I'll have to check, check back with you on the floor joist. I'll try to fix that before I upload it. So you can see it, all the all the different components get added. Um, don't get excited about the stringer. It's impo nearly impossible to extend it, and so I'm working on that. Um, and there's some errors. So yeah, so you know, it's development. So I will be probably this week checking on the things that create errors. So at any rate, so let's look at what I had hoped to show you and not uh, these embarrassing errors but I'm gonna leave it in there anyway because I just I do want you to, to realize that this is um, this is very experimental so let me go into draft workbench first and create an arbitrary line so I'm going to show it on the grid and I have my grid let's see what do I have my grid set to yeah I have it set to 16 inches because um, that's the 16 inch center that um, American construction works with. I don't know if that's what you should set it to, but um, it sort of worked for me. It's a visual indicator that your items are near the center of where they should be. So here I have an arbitrary line and let me go into the stick frame workbench and let's add a, you know, a, a standard wall. So it's going to take a little while because doing some calculations, I don't, I, you know, I don't think my code is great, but it, it, it works. And what it does is it attaches it to this line using the first vertex. And I've only got that worked out. So it's gonna be limited to what lines and edges you can use. Like, I think I will be able to do it like where you select an edge like that and add construction to an edge of you know something that's already existing. And I've seen that work and I don't know why it stopped working. <laughs> um, so you know, as I as I learn the attack the, the lingo and ins and outs of the attachment framework in this, I'll I'll be getting better. So you but you can attach. Um, I think I did pretty much everything. Um, so here's a floor being attached, and then so say I want to attach a ceiling. If I do it here, the ceiling will be attached to that line. But what you can simply do is let me go into draft, and um, I'll just go on top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my working plane on top of the wall. So now you can see it's on top of the wall, but not centered for some reason, I don't know why. I get two sometimes, don't know what's going on there. I just try to ignore it as best I can. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line from the end of this wall, or in the end of that plate to the plate over here. And then I'm gonna use that line for my ceiling. So I'm just gonna leave it selected, go over to stick frame workbench, and I'm gonna select uh, a ceiling group, yeah. So that'll add a ceiling group, and again, it, it takes a little time. Oh, so I, I misspoke. So I did, I had an offset on the ceiling group, so I guess I, um, let's try it with that line instead. Let me delete this ceiling group, we'll try it again. But the thing to note is that 
um, this is a uh, all of these are unique I, I, um, unique pieces so it would have been easy to create this wall with it with a an array but you wouldn't be able to do it do this with an array it's just delete random random bits so now those those are gone from the wall and um, you know you can add something in there so you you know it would have been difficult to do that with an array and I wanted to make it easier to later on just uh, rifle through and count all the pieces of lumber involved in to, to you know to make a uh, um, cost analysis uh, so like you for this you could stick a window in there so let's try this line again and do the ceiling and this time it should be in the right place I do see I'm getting some errors I must have got an error for that so I lied about not having any errors <laughs> this is this one is one that uh, is, is the bane of my existence this recom recompute error but anyway you saw the uh, where did I put my ceiling? It looks it says I have a ceiling, but uh, where did I put it? Oh, it failed. Okay, so you know it still needs work, but I thought I'd share, and uh, it's kind of fun to play with, even though it's you know not uh, not in great working order yet. It's still fun. Um, my goal is that uh, I'll be able to do a floor plan and just click a line and add a wall, and have uh, construction walls um, just by clicking the lines. So that's my update for the stick frame, and uh, as always, thank you for watching, and uh, you can get this on, on GitLab, I'll leave, I'll leave a link in the description, and if you like this stuff, uh, subscribe and uh, click a like. Thanks, have a great day.